We have made it to another Friday. The original, often duplicated, never imitated. Oh, it's the other way around. You messed it up. Whatever. The often imitated, never duplicated. Sure. Original, one. beer for breakfast, 17, 18, 22, 18, been 18. Been going on forever. Since 1893. Mahoney's been drinking already a bit this morning. We're feeling pretty good today. We are, uh, we, you know, and uh, unfortunately, Audrey's not with us during this beer for breakfast, so I decided to get a beer that I know she, she would, would love, just love melt so for. much. Son of a she actually hey. said... Hey, I don't like IPAs that much. You guys definitely do an IPA when I'm not there. And so Mahoney went, screw you. I'm going to go get your favorite beer, and we're going to drink it, and we're going to waste it when you're not here. That's right. I like your thinking. Fear Spite. of missing out. So do cool things when people aren't around. Make them never leave again. That's right. Uh, so today we are drinking Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. And I will say, as far as bottle design, I mean, this is very a very classy-looking bottle. Well, it's, it's classic. You know, uh, the Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout has 5% alcohol by volume today, being served from a 12-ounce brown uh, brown bottle that came in a four-pack, usually priced between $8.99 and $11.99 for a four-pack, depending on where you find it. It's usually available a lot of places. The uh, Samuel Smith is one of those, like, old-school, been-around-for-a-long-time craft beers, one of the very first craft beers that I ever got into myself was the uh, Samuel Smith uh, Oatmeal Stout, which really sure. kind of like changed my entire perception of what stouts were and what they could be back in the day. I mean, we're talking like 22, 23 years ago. And, uh, you know, the, they're most commonly known for the Oatmeal Stout. They have the Nut Brown and mm -hmm. this one, which, believe it or not, in all the years that we've been doing Beer for Breakfast have never featured the organic chocolate stout. So uh, I thought I'd just throw it back to a classic. Interesting what they say here in the write-up on the back. It says, brewed with water from the original brewery well that was sunk all the way back in 1758. Some uh, old-ass water. That's old-ass old ass ass water. water. Is that good? Yeah. I don't know. Do we want old-ass water like this? It's, it's Sam. A, it's aged, Ugh. Dave. No. I mean, it's fresh. So uh, The other thing that's interesting well is that this is only 5% alcohol by it volume, is. right? So it's pretty light. That's Real awesome. Real easy to drink, even though it looks dark and it looks scary. It looks intimidating. Uh, to those of you who don't know, uh, it is not. The five categories in which we rate every single beer here on Beer for Breakfast. Look, smell, taste, feel, and drinkability is how we rate every single beer that we drink. And starting off with the look the samuel smith organic chocolate stout deep dark black body i mean or the darkest brown that you'll ever see about two fingers of a burnt leathery brown head that faded uh, about 45 seconds leaving behind a lot of dark sticky lacing uh let's move on to the smell because man this one is odiferous oh, yes, my friends is. i mean just take a big whiff of the organic chocolate stout from Sam Smith. I'm just not getting a big nose in that. Are you? Oh, Shh. yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude, shut up, Dave. Dude, this is great. Chocolate is, shut up. Chocolate Man. is hell. Shut up. This is a big nose. Oh, it smells like a candy I mean, it's not like a big, it's not a big, like, like alcohol or boozy nose, because that is not the case. But, like, as far as, like, actual chocolate, like, you hear chocolate stouts or you hear some of these other, you know, uh, stouts that have been infused with whatever it may be, mm -hmm. like a vanilla, uh, like a Russian vanilla stout or whatever it may be. And sometimes the noses are just kind of muted. You just get a lot of malts. This one, I get a lot of chocolate. That's all I get. It's just chocolate. Chocolate, a yeah, yeah. little yeah. bit of coffee, zero alcohol present in the notes. But for me, I'm I'm a chocolate fan. I know you're not a huge chocolate fan, Dave. Nope. But for me, this is a very, very and it's not like queenly sweet either, or you know, like because it was sometimes like when you have like a candy uh scent to it, they can be uh, a little bit overpowering. But this one doesn't this one doesn't bother me. It's like I could just sniff this. I could wear this as a cologne. And I would <laughs> No be... you wouldn't. Could you wear this on the back of your knees? I could, Dave. Mm. The uh the knee pits. Yes. Which is uh we need to talk about uh places you need to put deodorant. All those all those bins in your body sweat. Your knee pits do not need to smell like chocolate. All the pits. Oh God, that makes me a so chocolatey sick. delight. What about the mm. what nine oh two one oh's peach pit? Where they used to hang out, if yeah. anybody remembers. Yeah, sick that, reference. Deodorize that. That's right. Uh, let's uh, move on to our favorite part on Beer for Breakfast, which is the taste. Cheers, Cheers. friends. Hey, Cheers. Cheers. Uh, you know, uh, we, we'll drink this in Audrey's honor. On <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what? what? On, on, on her? On her? On her? <laughs> no, let's not on, uh, get on her. That's no, illegal. Honor. Honor, yes. Honor. It's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> because I know she would like this one, so cheers. Cheers, friends. 
<laughs> God, you keep on ruining Why it. You do that. Stop, man. God. It's really good. Not everybody can see what we're doing, so I just want to make you sure that You just said, people... let's take a drink. I think that people get it. it, it it's Foley, Dave. I mean, do you not Got remember it. the early days of radio when they would have, like, it's the theater of the mind. Hmm. Yeah. It's the shadow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. uh, Dave, you're traditionally more of an IPA guy. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout? I'm not a big fan. I, Whoa. I, 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 it tastes like kind of flat Dr. Pepper to me. If we're being real, okay. Oh, well, wow. I think um, I think you I think there is some like dark fruit in there, which you you get in a uh, like or a, a dark cherry that you sometimes find in Doctor Pepper. Like a Doctor Pepper, yeah. I mean, it's fine. Like I, it's not it's not bad, right? It's not bitter. It's not any of those things that would traditionally turn you off. It's just you can tell. I mean, it's very light. You know, I like my beers to have a little bit of a punch to them with the alcohol. I I enjoy that in beers. I know everyone doesn't, but for me personally, I do. And this doesn't have any of the alcohol in it. I'm not a sweet guy. It it just tastes kind of sweet to me. Uh, you know, it's it's not even full enough for me to really okay. enjoy it. It's a light body. Yeah, yeah for like, sure. I'll, yeah, we'll get to that. If I'm going to drink a, a dark stout, I like it to be creamier and have more booze. Ian, your thoughts? Wow, after hearing Dave pummel it. Because you um, haven't liked the, the stouts that we've done the last couple of weeks. No, I'm not a stout guy. I will say this. Mahoney, this is my favorite stout we have ever featured on Beer for Breakfast. I love everything about this from the smell to the look to the taste. It is right up my alley. It's not uh, the ABV is just perfect for me. Yep. The artwork to me just reminds me of like an old dive bar, the kind of stuff you see on the wall. I want to get my last name tattooed on my back with the uh, with the, with this letter. This font. <laughs> you should just get Samuel Smith yeah, tattooed can, on your back. Yeah, do yeah. that instead. Also, I don't like how, how they call it organic chocolate stout. I feel like organic is uh, kind of overused and doesn't really mean anything. I mean, this beer's been around a long time before yeah. we were even like using organic to describe things. Uh, so Ian's a fan, and for me, I get you get those big hits of chocolate not as much as in the nose i mean the nose is incredibly chocolate but there's a big chocolate up front the malts there that dark fruit undertone that or that undercurrent of dark fruit i really like it kind of gives it a nice balance to it so you get uh, a little bit of a bitter bite but the the finish is very enjoyable as well zero alcohol not too sweet almost like the, uh, uh, a molasses uh in there Somewhere as well, I, I'm, I'm getting, but overall, I think this is a classic stout. And if you are maybe not the uh, biggest uh, fan of stouts or dark beers, this could be a great gateway stout. I think, uh, I think Sam Smith has done a, the, you know, Samuel Smith has put out a great line of beers over the years. They're, they're you know, you can find them grocery stores, some gas stations. They, they're all over the place. And I, uh, I'm a fan. The mouthfield, uh, I think. Heavy light to uh, light medium bodied uh, in there. It's lightly carbonated, as you said, Dave. You, you feel it's kind of flat. I, I feel like there's a, a light creaminess to it as well. Uh, the drinkability for me, like every beer that Samuel Smith puts out, I think this is an excellent, excellent representation of chocolate stouts. Personally, uh, I think the stout can be uh, enjoyed year round. Goes really well. I would love to be eating some barbecue. With this, just give me a, a some some dry rub ribs, or give me some pulled pork, and throw some uh, you know like uh, a mustard based barbecue mm. sauce on this, and I would mm. be in heaven. Overall, if you haven't checked out this classic, I recommend you do so. Can I get a drum roll? There, there you go. Oh, Mahoney's beer CL supremacy. I give the Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout a four point one out of five. Stupid rating. Way too high. No, it's not. Ian, what would you give it? 3.4. 3.9. 3.9 for me. I give it a 4.1, man. 4. Wow. 3.4 at best. Good. Wow. It's fine. I love it's it. fine.